hello and welcome now today we are going to see the experiment on temperature coefficient of thermistor so we are going to find out temperature coefficient of thermistor now first of all we should know what is a thermistor so thermistor is nothing but what it is a resistance only but with temperature the value of the resistance changes either the value of resistance increases with increase in temperature or it may decrease with increase in temperature the one which we are going to use here is for that uh, the value of resistance uh, decreases with increase in temperature so that means what the thermistor we are going to use here is having negative temperature coefficient that is ntc the other one in which the value of resistance increases with increase in temperature is called as ptc type in which we call it as a positive temperature coefficient and the value of resistance uh, increases with increase in temperature so the symbol normally we use the a uh, variable temperature so this is nothing but what a, a thermistor we have here now to carry out this experiment we have to make a simple setup here the diagram of the experimental setup is shown over here so we have a test tube here in the test tube we have a thermometer and also we have a thermistor so this uh, this thermistor is nothing but what it is having variable resistance so and uh, the thermistor is directly connected to a digital multimeter and here in the digital multimeter we have to note down resistance value and with the help of thermometer we can note down what is the temperature here and uh, <coughs> uh, there is a heating arrangement for this to increase the temperature now what we have to do is first of all we have to note down the room temperature so i will call this room temperature as t0 now this is the experimental setup you can show to them so we have to make a table and in the table uh, a table will be like this there will be serial number then we have to note down the temperature in degree centigrade and then we have to note down the resistance value at those different temperatures so we have this serial number will be 1 2 3 etc so what we have to do is first we have to heat this uh, uh this uh, uh, we have to increase the temperature to say up around 95 degree centigrade 90 uh, say around 95 degree centigrade and then uh, so centigrade i had already written here so i'll write on 95 here and you have to note down the value of resistance here and uh, then we have to take the readings of cooling uh, at each 5 degree centigrade now uh, we shall uh, start uh, this uh, burner i will start so that the heating will start here yeah so now the heating has started you can see that this thermometer reading will rise now yeah it is slowly rising i think it will take some time yeah it is now 1 degree rise is there already i think it is now 35 and now it is 85 i think and now it is reaching 90 degree centigrade is 89 or 90 yeah
90 आया क्या 90 इट इज 93 94 आई थिंक नाइन्टी फोर वगैरह है एंड नाउ इट इज अराउंड नाइन्टी फाइव थिंक It it has reached yeah it is ninety eight I think uh, now we have to uh, now we have to uh, off this burner here so I will just off this burner and now we have to note down the readings while the temperature goes on decreasing that means what we have to note down the readings for cooling okay so the first reading is for ninety five degree centigrade and uh, this is around ninety five degree centigrade and for that here we got the reading for 95 degree centigrade in the multimeter as it is 125 ohm 125 ohm all these readings are in ohm 125 ohm now uh, for each 5 degree centigrade we have to note down these uh, cooling readings here so i will note down them very fast here so that you will uh, Uh, some time will be saved there so the next reading is for 90 degree centigrade it is 144 ohm then we have 167 ohm then we have 193 ohm for 80 degree then we have 227 ohm then 271 this one then 306 Three hundred and sixteen. Then we have three hundred and seventy-seven. Then we have four hundred thirty. Then we have five hundred and thirty-two. And then we have six hundred and thirty-one. And then we have seven hundred and fifty. So all these readings resistors are measured in ohm. Now you can see here the trend is as the temperature goes on decreasing here the resistance value ah uh, they are increasing here. Okay. So here now what we have to do is we have to plot a graph here. So I will just show you how to plot this graph. You have to plot a graph of resistance value that is R on y axis. and temperature on x axis so we we have seen that the maximum temperature we have gone up to 95 degree centigrade will be here and the minimum temperature will be the room temperature say around 30 degree centigrade okay now here we have got the readings up to 40 degree centigrade only so the our graph will be in this range only okay say after 40 so it will be around 40 here and now we have to plot these points here on this capital r that is resistance versus temperature capital t graph so this graph will be like this okay now in our earlier part we have just note down the room temperature uh, the room temperature was actually 35 degree centigrade and the resistance at room temperature was 951 ohm so this thing we have already done that at room temperature we have 35 degree centigrade was the room temperature and 951 was the uh, 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 that r0 value was 951 ohm okay now we have to note down some middle point here so i will note down this point here and from this point we have to plot a graph of uh, say rather we have to draw a tangent to this point and we have to find out slope of this we have to find out slope slope of this okay now this slope will give us dr by dt value this slope will give us dr by dt value 
then we have the uh, the coefficient of thermistor is given by alpha is equal to 1 upon r0 multiplied by slope of this graph so it comes out to uh, so you just have to find out the slope here r0 i had already given to you r0 is nothing but what 951 ohm so you have to substitute this value here and finally you will get value of this per degree centigrade will be the temperature coefficient of the given thermistor uh, i hope that you understand this experiment if you have any difficulties you can ask me in the comment section do like subscribe share and uh, comment and uh, thank you very much for your patience listening i am very much thankful to sandeep sir for helping in arranging this experimental setup and recording thank you very much